Hey there everybody, how's it going? We're a little ways into our day already. Uh, we just stopped in South Beloit, Illinois. Just into the Illinois state from Wisconsin. Uh, grab some fuel here. Got myself a coffee and uh, lunch of champions with the dessert of champions, Reese's, obviously. Uh, I don't usually eat this, so it's just kind of like a treat to me. I'm hooked, it's just watering, I'm so hungry. So we've been driving for a few hours today already. Uh, I have been here for my half hour now, so I don't have to stop again legally till the end of my day. Chevy, these are for me. Do you, do you want a treat? Would you like a treat too? I'm getting a treat, you should get a treat too. Here, here, let's, let's get you a treat, bud. All right. There's one left. One, are you a good boy? Go on the bed. Go on the bed. Go on. Go up there on the bed. Okay. <coughs> One left here, bud. All right. Here it is. Do you want it? Can you sit? Okay. Now you got to do a trick first, okay? We're going to put that right over there. Okay. Can you shake a paw? Very nice to meet you. Other one. Very nice to meet you. Can you lay down? Can you sit back up? Come, up, up, sit. Oh, good boy. Oh, nice to meet you. Very nice. Other one too? Nice to meet you. Okay, you worked really hard for that one. Good boy. Good boy. Nothing's free, buddy. You always gotta work for it. There we go. Now everyone's got their treats. So this is my usual last stop before I hit the city of Chicago. Uh, so, Hopefully this doesn't go through my system before I get to the other side of Chicago. I drain the whole system, so I, I I should be good. But sometimes if there's a lot of traffic and I get held up for a long time in the city, sometimes uh, I regret having a coffee before heading into the city. I always tell people, try not to drink a lot of fluids before going through a big city like, like Chicago. Um, for obvious reasons, there's nowhere to stop. There's no bathrooms. The rest areas they do have in Chicago, like those little oasises, is what they call them, right? Oasis. There's like parking for like six to 10 trucks in there. And there's always like 20 packed in there. I've never found a parking spot at one of those oasises. What I have found more often than not is you go up there into the parking lot and it's so jammed full, full of trucks that you can't even get through and you're stuck there until people come back to their trucks and move them. So I don't even bother going into those things. Poorly designed. Like they're they're designed for cars. I don't know why they bothered putting parking in there for trucks. I guess just to say that they tried, they tried. Well, you failed. <laughs> in Chicago, if you want to create a, an oasis that that allows for truckers to go in and enjoy the facilities as well, you got to have a little bit more than ten parking spots for trucks. I would say like minimum fifty. If you can. If you can swing it, do a hundred. I know that takes up a lot of space, especially in a city. It's almost impossible, but whatever. Just my opinion. Time to go. And we're on the Illinois toll road. So the fun has officially begun, I guess. Because this road takes us right into Chicago. <laughs> I'm gonna go around Chicago on the 294, but I would argue that's still Chicago. It's just not downtown Chicago. I used to go right through downtown before I, when I was first learning the routes and when I was you know, younger and about 10 years ago, I guess, at this point, almost. Yeah, I'd go right through downtown Chicago because I didn't realize the 294 took you around, right? And it is congested every single time you go through downtown Chicago, day or night. Rush hour never seems to stop there, at least when I went through this. I avoid it altogether. It's bad enough that I have to go through the edge of the city. I wish they made like a mega super highway bypass that would, you know, cut out somewhere around here, like on the west side of Chicago, and then go all the way around, like the city, all the way around Gary, Indiana, and then meet up with the Ohio Turnpike, and then maybe continue on to meet up with the 94 and 64 or 69, whatever it is up in Michigan, you know what I mean? Just sort of like a big loop around the congestion. And straight, like strictly, like super highway bypass. No towns or nothing, just 
freeway, no stopping. Just like this. That would be awesome. But can you imagine how much that would cost and how how much they would have to go through to get that done? They'd have to uh, get their right of way. They'd have to buy all this land off these private farmers. That would be a huge pain because they won't want to sell. And they're so close to the city of Chicago, this land here has got to be worth so much money. So it would cost a fortune just to buy the land to build the highway on. Then you got to build the highway yet. Yeah. It'd be ridiculously expensive, but it would be awesome. Up ahead here, this is one of those oasis that I was talking about. See, you got the trucks parking on the, the on-ramp here already because they know there's no parking up in there for them. All the way on the left side, they're parked all the way down the off-ramp or the on-ramp. And then the, the rest area is actually right above the highway here. You know, they probably they got like McDonald's, all these little things on the right here, little signs, Subway, uh, Starbucks for some reason. Do people still drink that tar? Starbucks, uh, all kinds of stuff in there. It's just, this one's not too bad. You can usually find parking at Belvedere, but they have those throughout the, like throughout the city on the freeways in Chicago, and there's never enough parking in those places for trucks. There's never enough parking anywhere for trucks, really. Just a heads up, if you pull in there, good luck. Good luck. This girl driving this SUV in front of me here is seriously doing her hair and makeup as she's driving through traffic here. She has no hands on the steering wheel. She just put her hair up into a bun while driving in this mess of the traffic. What's she doing now? Before she had her mascara out or whatever, she was doing her makeup on her eyes when I passed her. And then she got back in front of me. I don't know if she was mad at me or something for giving her a dirty look for doing her makeup. But she got in front of me, hit her brakes, tried to get me to hit her or something. But I didn't because I was sort of ready for her to do that. I'm ready for anything in Chicago. And then she proceeds to continue like doing her hair. You can still see she has no hands on her steering wheel. What is she doing? Just drive. At least she's not all over the road right now. But... Oh, 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 hitting the shoulder, hitting the shoulder. Oh, oh, driving on the shoulder. There, there you go, there you go. Yep, hands back on the steering wheel. There you go. What is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? Is your life that busy that you don't have time to do your makeup and your hair when you're not driving? Like before you get in the car or after? Like you need to slow down a little bit if your life is that busy. I'm gonna get out of this lane. I wanna get around her eventually. I'm trying to avoid her, stay far back from her right now. Oh, that truck in front of her has got some white smoke. Oh, that stinks too. Whew, whenever he hits the gas, he's got white smoke pouring out of his stack. You know, I bet you that's the sign that I was thinking of. Like when your engine needs a rebuild, I bet you that engine's shot. There's too much, or the piston rings aren't sealing properly, and oil's getting into the crankcase, and it's coming out as white smoke. Don't quote me on that, I'm not a mechanic, but see if he hits the gas again. If I can get past this chick. No, 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 don't come in front of me, come on. I'm trying to get around you. No signals. It's hard to signal when you don't have your hands on the wheel to begin with. Uh, I hope she gets pulled over. I doubt it though. Unless she causes an accident, which is kind of likely at this point. Why, why did you need to be in front of me again? Why? Lovely, eh? This truck on the right here, this is the one that's blowing out the white smoke. I don't know if you just saw that there. That's a pretty bad sign. That's how I know that my engine doesn't need a rebuild because my truck isn't doing that. I'm pretty sure it's just the oil separator on the blow-by. That's causing the problem right now. But I haven't had any oil leak in like almost a week now, so been doing good oh just please let me get through Chicago without somebody hitting me I don't trust any of these people I don't trust any of them it's been a very rainy evening we're just exiting highway what is interstate 69 
At exit 128 here in Michigan, Schwartz Creek. Drive 350 meters, then turn right on Moorish Road. Sure, whatever you say, Mandy. On my way to the gym. This is the gym I've been to twice before now. This is the gym where I first started lifting and uh, the gym where I hurt so badly for three days afterwards. <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore. Now I'm just sort of... Uh, Turn right on Moorish Road. So I, what would you say? My muscles are sort of a little tight and tense the next day. I just got to stretch them out a bit, but I can tell that they're tired the next day. They don't hurt like that for three days anymore. Thank God. That was terrible. We gotta turn right at these lights onto Miller Road. It's Miller time. Turn right on Miller Road. That's right, Mandy. In this case, Miller time means gym time, workout time, feel good about myself time. Continue 1.9 kilometers to 9136 Miller Road. It's been really nice to uh, be dealing with the rain tonight rather than the snow I've had to deal with for the past several months. I can officially say it, spring is finally here. Even at home, everything is melting. The snow will be gone in a few weeks, just like every year. Predictable. So we had quite a bit of snow this winter, which is really good. I hear that California is now drought free and that the world actually isn't coming to an end over there. Good news. Good news for California. Also around our our place, a lot of moisture. We're kind of worried about flooding in our province. Not around where we live. We live up on pretty high ground, even though it feels like it's pretty flat, but we're pretty high. It's down by the river uh, in southern Manitoba that is expecting quite a bit of water this spring. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the worst doesn't happen, you know. At least not everything's so dry this year. It's good. Though now they're probably gonna say this is some other reason about how the world is ending. You know, they always twist it. There's always a way that they can twist whatever's happening in the weather to make it sound like the world's ending. So I'm very excited and curious to find out how they spin it this year. Here we are. Snap Fitness is right on the end of this little strip mall here all the way at the end. We'll turn around and park in my usual spot here and we'll probably go in for about an hour. It's usually about how long it takes me. Mm, doesn't look too busy in there. There's a lot of cars in this parking lot, but nobody's in the gym by the looks of it. <sighs> I'm pretty pooped. <laughs> Another good workout. I was happy with that. So now I'm just gonna check on the load here. Make sure we're all good. Make sure all the chains are still tight. Make sure nothing's falling off or going to fall off. This is the machine I want. Oh man. Oh, it's so nice. I'd settle for that one too. I don't care. Love to take that home. But I think I'd get into a little trouble if I did take it home. <laughs> well, I'm gonna recover a little bit here, catch my breath, and we gotta get on the road. We have an hour and a half. One hour and 35 minutes to go 124 kilometers, so we don't have much time to waste. We've got to get to Canada before our American hours of service runs out. One more fuel up before we leave the U.S. We're in Port Huron, exit 196. Quickly throw some cheap American juice in the truck because it's cheap. Seriously, the gas down here, the fuel, sort of diesel fuel, is a dollar a liter. Just over a dollar a liter. In Canada, it's a dollar thirty a liter. Last I checked. So yes, we're gonna fuel up here. Well, we paid our toll and we're on the Blue Water Bridge to cross the river into Canada. It's quite the lineup though. There's a lineup of trucks all the way across the bridge to out here. What in the world? Why is it so busy? It's like midnight. What is today? What day of the week is it? It's like a Wednesday too, isn't it? Weird. Why is there such a backup here? This isn't good. 
Look at this. You see it all the way around to the end over there, over the blue part of the bridge, and all the way down onto the land over there. Trucks are lined up all the way out here. Wow. This is gonna be fun. I bet you they only have like one lane open. These are my favorite kind of snacks. For some reason, after a workout, I always crave sun chips. Harvest cheddar. Mm. Perfect way to keep me occupied while we creep over this bridge at half a mile an hour. Never mind. Complete standstill again. I guess I'm going to end this vlog here though, so thanks for watching. I may say hi to you guys in the morning yet before I end this. If not, we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'm probably going to go up to about London, Ontario and spend the night there. We have our first delivery in Brantford, Ontario, first thing tomorrow morning.